presents a new gospel music experience. Dorinda, with your Grammy Award winning host, Dorinda Clark Cole. And now, here's your host. Hi friends, welcome to the Dorinda Show. I'm so glad you included me in your day today. Well, we're going to have a wonderful time in the Lord. I'm telling you, it's a blessing to be able to rejoice and be glad in this day because this is the day that the Lord has made. Well, it gives me a privilege and a pleasure to introduce this great guest that is on my show today. I call him a friend, and let me tell you something. This young man's moving with great strides in the industry. All the way from California, please help me welcome Brother Lorenzo Johnson. Come on, put both hands together. How many people know that the more you begin to praise God, the better you begin to feel? Guess what? I was burdened down and in despair, but the more I praise him,
I got to give God some praise. That's my special guest, Brother Lorenzo Johnson, all the way from California. And we're going to be talking to him, find out what's going on with him. I'm just so glad he's with me. I love promoting and introducing and pushing artists like this uh, young man that I'm getting ready to introduce again. He has, um, I see God doing some awesome things, and uh, he was a part of my Singers and Musicians Conference, and I'm just so, so glad that he came down to be with me. He kind of surprised me. I was like, yes! I mean, I knew he was coming, but uh, I didn't know he was coming this soon. Well, it, it really made me feel so good that he's here. So please help me welcome my special guest, Lorenzo Johnson. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. So glad you're here. We got a lot to talk about. Um, you have a group that is just, oh, just so powerful. And you didn't bring them this time, but you're going to bring them back. Yes, ma'am. And we got to let them know right now while they're watching. Y'all coming. Y'all coming. coming. Y'all coming. We had to get Lorenzo here first. But um, the, the group, uh, it's, in, it's, it's Praise Him, right? Praise Him. Praise Him. Yep. And I love the way you, um, you spell the name. It's very, very different. And this is one thing I can say about Lorenzo. Lorenzo is very different. He, um, God has a unique way of using him. And that's what I love about his talent. But he spells Praise Him, P. R-A-I-Z-U-M. That's unique, isn't it? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Tell us, Lorenzo, um, how you got started in, in the music ministry? Well, my mother and my father are both musicians and ministers of music at their respectful churches. Okay. and Grew up um, in the church, and my grandmother was the one that told me to direct the choir when I was really, really young. And mm -hmm. a along with the music ministry, I also um, grew up in the public school system, and I did band and choir yeah. and later on and went back to teach. So I'm professionally trained um, as a musician and a singer. Mm -hmm. And I utilize those giftings and my knowledge from the professional realm um, and intertwine it with ministry as well. Mm. So do you, you teach in school, actually. Tell us about that, because uh, I know that can sometimes be a challenge. <laughs> it, it is kind of interesting. <laughs> I, I actually taught um, for five years, mm. and um, it was a pretty rough challenge. They expect you to to perform miracles without a budget. Uh -huh. um, you know, the music is one of the reasons, um, one of the first things that they cut. Mm. Um, when there's a budget cut, that's the first thing to go. But it's important that our young people have positive outlets for expression mm. because without it, if you don't see your ki if you don't look at your young people's drawings, you'll see graffiti on somebody's garage. If you yeah. don't hear them sing, you'll hear them scream on the news. It's important that we have the arts in our school. Yeah, that is so so important because, the, and and like you said, to have an outlet, uh, I think that's so so important um, because there's so many things that the young people can turn to, and especially those of us that have grew up in the church, and uh, you know you have to have that outlet in school. Yes. Because there's so many, I think they have more guns in school now than they do anything right. now. So it's got to have a positive, something positive for the young people to grab the hold to. Um, Lorenzo, you have a, a CD that is out that I love. I've been listening to it. And as a matter of fact, I have two copies. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I've been listening to it. And one thing about... Um, Lorenzo's uh, CD, it's, it's got a big microphone on the front of it. There it is, bam, right there. <laughs> and it reminds me so much of the show because on the beginning of the show, yes. there's a big microphone that turns. And um, uh, the, just to see how God has um, really allowed you to matriculate in this music um, industry, now God is taking you into bigger, bigger audiences now. Um, where do you see uh, your music going? Well, this is going to sound pretty shocking, mm -hmm. but I honestly see my music actually going into the places where a lot of church people are afraid to go, inside mm -hmm. the, the nightclubs, yeah. inside the schools, and at sports arenas, in the world. Mm -hmm. Jesus said that we're all to go into all the world. That means the fashion world, the music, the R&B mm -hmm. world, the jazz world, all of the world to compel men to come. 
Amen, amen, and I can I can see you doing that. Now <clears throat> you haven't really seen this group, and once this group gets here, you'll understand why um, the Lord is using him <clears throat> in um, such a, a, a great great area of music. Uh, there are a lot of art artists out here. Um, what makes you think that your music is different? Um, my music is different because it comes from a personal experience with God. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother was stricken with breast cancer. Um, wow. Before that, I had my aunt, who was the first lady of my church, um, who died from breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the songs that I wrote was, I was writing during that time of pain and during that time of struggle. And um, my personal relationship with God during that season, you told me at the Singers and Musicians Conference that um, when you get ready to write a song, God can't write to you when you have a bunch of people around you. Mm. So I took that and, you know, I had to get everybody around, away from me and I had to, I got backed into the wall and I had to hear from God himself. Mm. So my music is music of deliverance. It's yes. music of healing. It's music of, of power so that the, the captives can be set free and the blinded eyes can be opened. Amen. And that's what I felt. The minute I heard you all, I was like, oh my God, they are awesome just so powerful and um, you said something because I can tell that you're right out of experience um, and um, you're inspired by um, some challenges that you have to go through there's one challenge that God has brought you through and like you said uh, it was your aunt that went through that uh, sometimes God gives us songs and I'm, oh, yeah. you got songs on your record that um, that you wrote out of experience yes ma'am yeah What's, what's Matter of fact, the, entitle of the, CD, the title of the CD is Life Support, mm. and that's the title cut of the CD. Um, and it's basically God, I saw my aunt, one of my aunts on life support, and, and I felt like I was on life support. Mm. And the Bible says, um, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. And I said, Lord, I can't breathe. Mm. And he basically said, you know, I'm going to put you on a spiritual life support, and I'm going to do the breathing for you. Wow. And because of that, I, more songs like the more I praise them, the better I begin to feel. Mm. Seeing my mom going through chemo and I would come home late from, you know, we have those right. late night revivals. That's right. And we'd put That's the key right. in the door and I would hear my mother crying out, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. And mm. I'm running in the house trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. And it's my mom's in a room by herself hollering and screaming, praising God. Yeah. And I learned from my mother Jeez. that the more you begin to praise God, the better you'll begin to feel. Ooh. The more I praise him, the better I feel. I love it. I love it. I thank you so much, Lorenzo, for coming. Um, and certainly we've got to hear some more music from you. But um, they can get your uh, uh, website and all yes. of your social media. What I'm you? on Facebook. I'm on Twitter, praisem.com, P-R-A-I-Z-U-M. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, social cam, everywhere online. iTunes, CD Baby, Amazon, you name it, you can find us. See, that's what I'm talking about, see. Now, if you want somebody to get your stuff, you got to know all that right there. <laughs> I thank you so much, Lorenzo. Thank you for you got to give me another song, please. Yes, ma'am. And we're going to give a shout out to Praise Him. Yes. <laughs> that's the group. They're coming back next time. But we're going to get ready for that other song for me, please. Yes, ma'am. All right. I want to say this. We've got so many great um, musicians and singers um, across this country and I'm just so so privileged and as, as you know me um, I'm always going to push um, those that are trying to make it in the industry and I see so many great talented individuals person like Lorenzo talented give their life to the Lord give their life to the music and give their life to ministry and um, that's what God has given me to be able to be that encourager to be that coach to help them to um, continue to stand on our shoulders because that's how we made it. We had to stand on somebody else's shoulders. So he's going to come with another song. Please help me welcome Brother Lorenzo Johnson singing Oh Taste and See. Guess what? 
Dorinda, right here on TCT. Hey friends, thank you so much for tuning in to the Dorinda Show. I'm so glad you're here. And certainly I want to thank my guest, Brother Lorenzo Johnson, all the way from Los Angeles, California. And he came here just to be with me. And I want you all to make sure y'all remember him. Make sure you support them, support all the artists that we bring on the show. Because that helps them. And not only that, but that helps me as well. All right. God bless you. I will see you next week. Same time, same station right here on the best network on the planet. Right here, TCT. I'll see you next week. Until then, have a God-blessed day. And this song is for all of my singers out there, all the singers. This is dedicated to all of you all out there. Listen. If it had not been for the law on my side, tell me where would I be? Oh, where would I be? If it had. Listen, said he kept all of my enemies.
out of my head had not been for 